How does open communication influence women's sexual satisfaction? Is it true that technology can improve sexual life? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Open and honest communication in a partnership is crucial for women's sexual satisfaction. It allows the expression of desires, needs, and concerns, strengthening intimacy, and improving the sexual experience. Technology can improve sexual life through applications, connected toys, and online resources that offer opportunities for exploration and connection with the partner. It is crucial to use technology consciously and respectfully. Sexting phenomenon. Sexting, or the exchange of sexual or erotic messages via electronic devices, is an increasingly common practice among young people, although it can also pose risks to privacy and safety. Sexual desire during pregnancy can vary from woman to woman. Some women experience an increase in desire due to hormonal changes, while others may feel less interested in sex. Sexual dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction can affect both men and women and includes problems such as erectile dysfunction, lack of sexual desire, and anorgasmia. Treatments and therapies are available to address these issues. Sexual education. Some people use pornography as a tool for sexual education, although this can be problematic due to the unrealistic and unhealthy representation of sexuality. Sexual fantasies and erotic literature. Erotic literature has been a source of inspiration for many people in their sexual fantasies. Erotic stories can allow people to explore scenarios and experiences that may not be possible in real life. Sexual health. Maintaining good sexual health involves not only disease prevention, but also emotional well-being and enjoying safe and consensual sexual relationships. Sexual liberation. Female masturbation has been an important aspect in the fight for women's sexual liberation, as it gives them control over their own sexuality and pleasure. Sexual pleasure. Sexual pleasure is an important part of the human experience and can manifest in various forms, including physical contact, erotic stimulation, emotional affection, and shared intimacy. Sexual therapy is a branch of psychology that focuses on helping individuals overcome sexual problems and improve their sex lives. Sexual therapists can work with individuals or couples to address concerns such as erectile dysfunction, anorgasmia, and lack of desire. Sexuality and aging. As people age, they may experience changes in their sex life due to factors such as menopause, health issues, hormonal changes, and life experiences. However, sexuality can remain an important part of well-being and quality of life in old age. Sexuality and disability. People with disabilities have sexual lives and intimate relationships, but often face physical, social, and emotional barriers to fully and satisfactorily express their sexuality. Sexuality and art. Since ancient times, sexuality has been a recurring theme in art, represented in paintings, sculptures, and other forms of artistic expression as a reflection of cultural and social beliefs about the body and desire. Sexuality in old age. As people age, their sexual needs and desires may change, but sexuality remains an important part of life. Many older adults continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. Sexuality in popular culture. Sexuality is a recurring theme in popular culture, including movies, TV shows, music, and social media. The portrayal of sexuality in the media can influence people's attitudes and perceptions. Sexually transmitted diseases can have a significant impact on the sexual, reproductive, and emotional health of affected individuals. The stigma and discrimination associated with these infections can hinder the seeking of medical attention and necessary support. Shockwave therapy for erectile dysfunction. 
Shockwave therapy is a non-invasive treatment that uses acoustic waves to improve blood flow to the penis, which may help improve erectile function in some men. Shoe fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal from observing, touching, or even smelling certain types of footwear, such as high heels or boots. This fetish may be related to the shape, material, or smell of the shoes. Simulated orgasms. Some women have admitted to faking orgasms during sexual encounters. This may be due to various reasons, including social pressure or concerns about their partner's satisfaction. Skin as a sexual organ. The skin is the body's largest organ and is filled with nerve endings. Physical contact, such as hugs and massages, can be highly erotic and stimulating. Sleep disorders and erectile dysfunction. Sleep apnea, a disorder characterized by interruptions in breathing during sleep, has been associated with an increased risk of erectile dysfunction in some studies, suggesting a connection between sleep quality and sexual health. Smoking and erectile dysfunction. Smoking can significantly increase the risk of developing erectile dysfunction due to the effects of tobacco on blood vessels and blood flow to the penis. Socioeconomic factors. Lack of access to healthcare, poverty, lack of education, and social stigma can contribute to a higher incidence of STDs in certain marginalized populations and communities. In South Asian nations like India and Nepal, anonymous helplines and counseling services have been established for young people seeking information on sexual and reproductive health confidentially. Speed of arousal. Men can have a complete erection in just 10 seconds, and sometimes they only need to look at something that stimulates them for a few seconds. In contrast, women require stimuli more related to the brain, such as emotional intimacy and connection. Stigma and discrimination. Individuals diagnosed with STDs may face stigma and discrimination in society, which can hinder their access to healthcare and the necessary support to effectively manage their condition. Stress's effect on fertility. Chronic stress can have a negative impact on fertility in both men and women. Stress can affect sex hormones and reduce the ability to conceive. Submissive and dominant fantasies. BDSM is a practice that involves roles of submission and dominance and has gained popularity thanks to literature and movies like Fifty Shades of Grey, although its representation may distort the reality of these practices. In some European countries like the Netherlands and Sweden, sex education focuses not only on pregnancy and disease prevention, but also on sexual pleasure and communication in intimate relationships from an early age. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.